Sorry. I know we spent a lot of time detailing the Maserati, but unfortunately, we're not going to race slot cars today. I just found out my dad convinced your grandpa we shouldn't be together when he should have worked it out with me, Dad. Hi, I'm Jesse. And I'm Harris, and I really don't appreciate you butting into our lives. I was attacked by bees. You don't scare me. <laughs> OK, uh, I think we all need to sit down and have a respectful conversation. So everybody shut your dumb old pie holes and listen to me. First of all, watch your mouth. I'm not dumb. Second of all, my hole also enjoys cakes and donuts. I I'm sorry, sir. My father should not have come over here and told you that I'm some kind of loser who's going to screw up Harris's life. I'm looking at this differently, son. I just don't think Harris is ready to take on everything you've got going on. Can everyone stop talking about me like I'm not in the room and making decisions about my life? I can speak for myself. Sure, but I just don't think you ought to be playing mother to three kids. I only have two. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> How hard do you really want to fight when this is the prize? I'll show you how hard. I don't care what any of you say. I'm moving in with Aldo and the boys, and it's going to be great. That's right. Harris is moving in with me, and it starts now. And I don't need anybody's approval. How'd I do, baby? You did great. Yes. Let's get the rest of my stuff. <laughs> well, Dan, it looks like you and me are probably going to end up being in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> And now my boy's mad at me. I don't have any place to stay. And uh, since we're practically in-laws... I hear you, Jesse, and if I didn't like you so damn much, I wouldn't be offering you this here beer for your walking journey. <laughs> Gee, thanks. One will get me out to the porch, two will get me out of the yard. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs>